Hey, Austin. Um, how did how does your pre-draft approach change once that first round pick gets moved to OKC? Do you still look to evaluate first round prospects in person or do workouts and interviews from that point on sort of consist of guys you think will be available at 45? So um, that's a good question. We still evaluate everybody, Chris. We, you know, we got to be ready for trades on the clock, right? And um, we'll, we'll be evaluating these guys for their entire career. So we spend a lot of time still on the first round picks, but um, they will no longer come in for workouts. Usually if you're outside their range um, at the combine, uh, we were able to still interview lots of guys in that first round range. Um, so a little of both, but but definitely reduced. Mark Murphy. Hey, Austin. Mark. I know that uh, last year you guys selected a draft and stash guy. What are the chances that will happen again this year? And as a follow-up to that, how is Yam doing? Um, Yam's doing great. Yam had a great year. Um, he improved on all the things we asked him to improve on. We've been in contact with him and his, uh, people all the way through and, and love the progress. And, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see what the future holds there as far as stashing or, or drafting an international player that may continue to play overseas. It remains to be seen. We'll see who's on the board and what happens. Um, you know, it's always it's always an option, but there's a lot of guys we like um, that that's not an option for. Adam Himmelsbach. Hey, what's up, Austin? I'm, what's the dynamic been like? Obviously, you know, you've only known drafts preparing with your dad, and now Brad's in this new role. What what have preparations been like? Is there anything different or unique about it? Or you know, not not really, Adam. I mean, obviously, Brad's been a big part of everything we've done for a lot of years and worked with Brad a lot. So it doesn't feel that different. And to be honest, um, everything happens so fast. Brad hasn't really been able to change a lot of our processes or how we do things. We're just kind of hit the ground running and keep doing what we're doing. And um, so it's been it's been fun and feels very familiar. Jared Weiss. This year, yeah, being able to get back out in the field again, I assume more. How was scouting this year different than it was last year? Was it better, was it better I guess, this year? Yeah, so it was different, right? Last year, we got to see most of the season in person scouting, right? And then it, and then college got shut down at the you know in the conference tournaments, and and we and so we just didn't get to see the end or do any of the in person combine draft workout stuff. And then this year was the opposite. We were very reduced during the season, what we could go see in person. Uh, but then we've been able to do pretty much full draft workouts and combine. So um, I don't know which which one I, I, I could choose if you had to pick half. Um, but it, it's been good having everyone in the gym this year and flying them in and getting to meet them in person and put them through some of our drills. I, I do enjoy the draft workouts and think they're uh, beneficial. Um, so anyway, it'll, it'll be interesting to see you know, what it does to people's evaluations, but I, I would imagine not too much. We, we, every team uses a lot of film these days and we watch all the games no matter what. Actually, another question. I've had a few prospects say that the Celtics have the hardest workout. I'm curious what you think makes the Celtics work so difficult. Is that something you take uh, pride in? We, we have them do the three minute run at the end and it's kind of grown into a legend, the Boston Marathon or whatever. I, I don't think we really do that much more than other teams, to be honest. Um, we just like to finish with that with that run. And uh, it's it's fun. I, I We like to see the guys grit and push through at the end. And and uh, is it a big deal? No, but, it, but it's kind of a cool tradition. Adam Himmelsbach. I was just wondering, um, there, there's a lot of talk about this draft being like a special draft. I was curious your thoughts on where it stacks up. Obviously, there's no way to know what these players will become. Um, but in your years of doing this, does this seem to be at the top, especially um, a different kind of draft? I, it doesn't feel like that to me, Adam. There, there are obviously some very good players. I, I feel like when most of the time in the media it's discussed, it's a great draft or a bad draft. They're really just talking about the top three people. They don't really, you know, because it, it, it's the rest is so hard to predict. Um, 
So, no, it, it feels like a good solid draft to me, but, um, you know, I, time will tell. I, I feel like last year was described as a weak draft, and there were a lot of rookies that really contributed to their teams. So um, not, none of us really know.